everyone today I'm going to be filming a makeup haul and I have not filmed a haul in forever I just want to put a little disclaimer out there though um, if it looks like I'm wearing the same outfit I did in like my last two videos it's because I am pre-filming videos today just because today is my day off and I need to pre-film lots of videos so I hope you guys don't mind but at least you guys are getting a video correct so I'm going to show you guys the drugstore items first that I have picked up um, Maybelline has came out with a new master fix um, spray booster um, it's like a setting spray this is amazing I have already filmed a review on it the link will be in the down bar if you guys have not seen this um, again this is amazing I absolutely love it if you want to know more about the item check out the review because it's amazing the next thing I got is the Maybelline this is the master fix setting um, perfecting loose powder so they came out with a translucent setting powder which if you guys would like to see a review on this let me know it's a just a white nice setting powder I haven't really used this a lot to film a review on a depth re review like I did the setting spray but if you guys would like to see a review on this let me know especially since it's a brand new item they just came out with now on to two makeup palettes that I got for Christmas um I haven't I didn't like film a Christmas haul or anything just because I was so busy but I'm going to show you guys two makeup palettes that I got for Christmas this is from it cosmetics and it's um naturally pretties um must-haves so this was in a set and this is the shades it came with and it also came with a mascara this was from Ulta so yes these are the shades it came with I really really love them and it's like a go-to palette very easy and if you're traveling and you just need something very small and you like neutrals this is definitely like the go-to palette to take since it's so small and compact plus it's um pink and has like a rose gold packaging so cute i love it the packaging is definitely a win in my book then the next thing i wanted for so long and it's the original palette so it's like the super old palette but i wanted it and i wanted it and i got it for christmas it's a Too faced chocolate bar palette i really want i'm pretty sure it's called the bong bong it's like pink and the packaging is pink and it barely just came out I'm going to get that one next because I really, really want that one. But, oh my goodness, guys, I really, really love this palette. And it smells exactly like chocolate because it's made with cocoa powder, I'm pretty sure. Um, I will be um, doing a tutorial with this palette because it's my everyday look I have been doing. Um, so I'm going to do, probably tomorrow, I'm going to film it, a everyday my makeup foundation routine, everything, like my full face every day that I've been going to. And it's definitely from this palette. This palette is honestly amazing. And I could tell you my two favorite shades from this palette is salted caramel which is almost I don't even know how to explain it let me just show you guys it's amazing this is salted caramel that's my favorite and then I really really love this shade right here and this bottom shade down here I love mixing those two together honestly my favorite palette right now is this one then I had Sephora gift cards, um, and I'm going to show you guys which I got from Sephora. So I got the Kat Von D contour kit. This was $46, and this is just life. I have been missing out since I haven't had it, and this is just amazeballs. I use this every single day, and I get, like, some bomb contour going on and highlighting with this banana powder. Mm, love it. This is amazing. Definitely recommend this, and I already filmed a review on this. Um, it's a comparison between this and the Anastasia one, so really, really love this one. The next thing I got, and if you guys follow me on my Snapchat, it's Megan Makeup 20 on Snapchat. Um, right when I got this, this I think this barely, this shade just barely came out from Kat Von D, and it's called Leoda. And oh my god, you guys, it is so beautiful. It's their liquid lipstick. One thing I don't like though is it dries out my lips so bad, but that's to kind of be expected from a um, liquid lipstick so let me show you guys this shade is so beautiful on my lips it stays on my lips all day and I have got so many compliments when I wear this shade so honestly it's amazing I would definitely recommend this it's like 20 bucks for this but it's amazing one thing I will be reviewing this product I have been loving it's brand new from makeup forever this is their ultra HD um, concealer and it's one of their new ones I got okay because they have like a pinky um, tone and yellows and I got yellow 21 so I got the lightest shade and the yellow collection and this is their new concealer it is so amazing it's so hydrating and I really have a bad problem with concealers creasing under my eyes so I was talking to them and they were telling me that this one barely just came out which it is a brand new one um, for Makeup Forever. And this is the bomb.com. So within a like a week, two weeks, um, look out for a review on, the, on this one because I'm going to probably be reviewing this tomorrow. And this is just amazing. I would definitely recommend this. I'm going to go more in depth about it in the review, but this is just the bomb.com. 
And the last makeup product I picked up, this is the Anastasia. This is the Brow Wiz. I always use the Brow Pomade, this one right here. But I really, really wanted to pick up this one because I've seen a video going around on YouTube, like a 30-second brow tutorial, and they were using this, and I really, really fell in love with the way they did their brows with this. It comes with a spoolie and the eyebrow pencil. I already know I'm not going to get a lot of product or a lot of use out of this, but I really still wanted to try it to see if I would like it. And I love it. I have it in my brows today and it's just so easy to work with. It's definitely a product I would recommend, um, but I'm pretty sure you could find a cheaper alternative to this, probably somewhere from NYX or even Maybelline or somewhere wrong along there. I have not found a dupe for this just because I barely just got this and I barely started using it myself. But overall, I really have loved this. Um, I have loved all these products I have talked about, especially this setting spray. This is the bomb.com. All these products I have used, but I just wanted to haul them so you guys know so, um, these are some new items I have if you guys like to see any reviews on them. I have already um, did a review today between the Kat Von D and the Anastasia Contour Kit Like a Battles video. I have already reviewed this and if you guys would like to see a review on the setting powder from Maybelline, let me know. Or even the Makeup Forever. I think I'm for sure going to film a review on this since it's definitely a brand new item that just came out and I really, really want to talk about it. So if you guys would like to see a review on any of these products, let me know. But thanks so much for watching guys. If you guys are new, please to subscribe to my channel and give it a huge thumbs up because it means the world to me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!